spot got Chip the tag on me Keep a sword and a dagger in the bag, homie Sipping water from the tap, watch it splash on me I've been working for a change like it's cash only I'm a certified guy, check the tag on me Keep a sword and a dagger in the bag, homie Sipping water from the tap, watch it splash on me Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Chapter 1, verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. So though you don't see God right now, neither do you see or understand or know where the first blade of grass or the first tree or the first brush of air came from, they're clearly seen today. That you can't say you were there when they were created. That means that establishes there is a God point blank period. Out here to warn our people, to help you understand you are in danger. Right. You not okay, you are in danger. Our people suffer because we turn from God's laws. That's, right. That's why we suffer. That's why we're out here to warn our people. Read on. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right. We refuse God every day, but for some reason, we think ourselves to pray. We want to pray to the Lord. We want to ask him why when we lose a loved one. Why when we get fired? Why when our house, get, we get put out of our house evicted? We get sick, we get cancer, we get diabetes. We're on our deathbed. Now we want to pray to the Lord. He reached out his hand to you. He told you why those things will happen to you. And you resisted him up until the point that he actually got to kill you now. Come on. But ye have said at no all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. God said he gonna laugh at your calamity. When you resisted him and that evil come upon you, he gonna laugh at that thing. Just like you laughed at him. Just like you laughed at him. Brother, you got a question? Brother, you got a question? I heard you say you don't believe in God. You wanna hear something crazy? I don't blame you. But I'm going to say this too. You've never met God. You've never met him, right? So tell me what you learned of what we think of God. Like, who, what do you think God is? To, like, like what's, you say you don't believe in him. What have you learned that would be the representation of God? Say it again, I can't hear you. Of God? Just itself, the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to decipher what you're saying. You saying the world is so messed up? Not it's an example of that. It's not true. The world is what it is. It's unfair, but it's fair. It's cruel, but it's also good. You can't have good without evil. That's true. So I'm saying it's just perspective. Okay, oh, that's true. But now, what about reality? That's hard. Like for instance, let me ask you this. You see these trees right here? Now, did all these come up together at the same time? Where'd the first one come from? Right, you know what? You, right, but you, you know what that means? That means none of us can say there is no God. If you can't answer where any of it came from, that means there's a God. That in of itself. Yes, God. That's where it came from. So let's get Romans 1 first. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. I'm going to show you where it came from. And I'm going to show you what I said. I'm going to explain to you what I just said. No one of us can say at any point in any generation, because we like thousands of years after the earth was created, right? But there wasn't such thing as the first man. There was such thing as the first tree. There was such thing as the first blade of grass, right? And in whatever generation we're in, if we can't say where that came from, or that we were here to speak for where that came from, none of us can say that there is no God. Because somebody did that. Some, that, it didn't just, otherwise that would make this grass God. That tree is God. 
uh, the air is gone. The sun is getting, that makes no sense at all. Somebody did that. That's true. That, that, that doesn't speak to creation though. Watch this. Come on. The book of Romans. It's, working, it's not working. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. So, though you don't see God right now, neither do you see or understand or know where the first blade of grass or the first tree or the first brush of air came from, they're clearly seen today. That you can't say you were there when they were created. That means that establishes there is a God point blank period. Otherwise, I'm sorry. God is the creator, right? Yes. So that's the case. God, God is the creator. We're, well, I'm speaking to that guy because it's, it's it's other. We are gods if we're in His image, but I'm speaking of the one who created everything, the God, right? Uppercase G. Okay. Right. It's a very deep thing. I would like to get to this, but I actually can't. Come on, brother, don't run. You gotta know. You gotta know who you are. I want you to know who you are. That's my goal. I'm not listening. A lot of people think we. I'm trying to make you come into a certain religion. No, no, no. I need you to. Let me ask you. What's your father? Is he a so-called black man? Is he so-called? He is. Right. So come here real quick. Look at. Look at this right here. He's Jamaican. So you are. Presumably of the tribe of Benjamin, right? Right. According to the Bible, which is where the sign comes. from. Right? So, because you're that, I, I would like, I need you, right? I really want you to understand who you actually are. You're more than what you think. We're not out here to make to, for somebody to pay tithes or uh, uh, even agree with us. But I have to warn you, first and foremost, and if you would be warned, then I have to tell you who you are. You understand? What's required of you. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the